food? The you would win the bet better than you would win the lottery. That, does that make sense? <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time they had food, <laughs> there we go again. You have a lot of nickels, <laughs> and we'd have the food. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We got something really good coming up today, of course. Yes, we taste a Vietnamese pork belly noodle bowl, one of the new specials off the menu at Pinch Boil House. And Chef Mike Gonzalez is joining us right now. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, and the unique thing about, because you know, a meal, a heavy meal on a day like this, but Vietnamese food is designed to be eaten on hot weather, right? Right. Well, yeah, so here we have a traditionally served uh, cold noodle dish. It's actually called the Boon Tit Noon. Um, so that's usually cold, so it's a hot noodle days on Vietnam. Other than the pork belly, which we're going to be heating up, everything else is served cold. Yes, actually, yeah. Okay. So. We're going to tell you all about that and some of the other uh, really yummy stuff they have over there at Pinch Boil House. And yes, it's a safari experience in the Texas Hill Country. We take you to the exotic resort zoo, where not only can you go on safari, but you can stay right there in the safari grounds. That Pretty cool. Be, that would be very <coughs> cool. All right, you have probably heard about this young gentleman recently. He is the best high school musical actor in the country. Won the Jimmy Award. He's a local gentleman. I've known him for a couple of years. We're going to chat with Nikki Barone. And cheers to tropical drinks on this thirsty Tuesday from Costa Pacifica Mexican Seafood Restaurant. Okay, a little bit of mm -hmm. sad news. You may have heard this in the news today, yeah. but Klondike has discontinued the Choco Taco. <sighs> I know a lot of people are just devastated by this. Okay, <laughs> so think we of something know. that has been maybe discontinued, like to see come back. Yes, let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer in the show. We have food, and we're talking about more food. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Cheers. Okay, 94 degrees. We're up around 101 today. This is a cut and paste forecast. Other than. We have some small chances of rain next few days. We'll keep an eye on the radar. Nothing to get too excited about, but at least we could use the radar. D dust it off a little bit, guys. Man, I miss the rain. <laughs> what was it say about rubbing two nickels together? What was what was that? You know what I'm talking about? Never mind. Well, you got two to rub together because you got the 100, 100 degree day, and, and they're going to have food on SA Live. There you go. So good bets all. Then it all starts right now. Let me tell you, I'd rather have the food we have here today. Today on SA Live, Safari Experience in the Texas Hill Country, we're going to take you to this one-of-a-kind resort that combines cabins and the wildlife. And he's a young local actor that won the Jimmy Award for National High School Musical Theater. We chat with him about his journey to success. And this restaurant is known for its Mexican seafood, but wait till you try the drinks for Tropical Nights Menu. It's a Thirsty Tuesday. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello and happy Tuesday. There is a nice little breeze out there right now, but uh, as Mark Austin has described it though, on days like this, it feels more like a hair dryer blowing. Yes! Body. Yes, that's yeah. hair dryer wind, Mike. You can I'm, use that in your next forecast. This we, is what it's going to feel like. Hair dryer wind, set it's, on it's, low, yes, set on medium. Like <laughs> she is Fiona. I am Mike. <laughs> and we are happy to serve you. We'll yes. be your waiter and waitress this afternoon. So. Yes, and we are going to be serving up some delicious food here. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have a restaurant that specializes in serving Southeast Asian seafood, street food, and rice bowls. And joining us right now is Mike Gonzalez, who's the chef over there at Pinch Boil House, one of our regulars. Good afternoon. Good to see you, sir. It's good to see both of you. Okay, so a hot day like this, you don't want a hot meal, and that's, like you said, the point about Vietnamese food, right? Well, like you said, today here in San Antonio, we are going through some hair dryer weather. So <laughs> well, just like in over there in uh, Vietnam, they go through very similar types of weather. It's very tropical, it can be very hot, and they go through some brutaling heat, just like we do, so. Human, yeah. very same human, type yes. of human heat, yes, <laughs> okay. okay. And what are we making today? Um, so today we're making a Boon Tit Nung. Um, which the boon means is referring to the rice vermicelli noodles. The tit is actually referring to the meat, and the noong is the the grilling that we do um, when we make the belly. 
And you said usually this is done over a charcoal grill. But yeah, usually they, they have a uh, charcoal grill. Usually sometimes they'll have a small one and they'll just cook it outside and that's usually how they'll make it in Vietnam. And then they'll have, um, obviously we have their rice bowl, or not rice bowl, the rice noodles. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, they sort of like put the salad in while they're grilling it and everything, sort of like make everything together. All right, so while, while Mike is kind of getting that going, what's the difference say between that pork belly and kind of what it's cooked in and say, Chinese pork belly? Uh, it's, it's a lot about the seasoning and the flavorings. Um, obviously Chinese food has its own sort of distinct flavorings. The same thing it goes with Vietnamese food. Um, they like to use oyster sauce, uh, fish sauce, and that's just generally like sort of their flavorings, lemongrass as well. Um, whereas Chinese is like more of the, about the five spice and sort of like that sort of flavoring, which is very distinct. Um, so yeah. And, and a lot of people hear pork belly and think, what is pork belly? It's bacon, right? I mean, yeah, slice yeah, of things more or less. It's just <laughs> more or less kind of like bacon. It just comes from the belly. It's just, uh, you know, just the meat. Um, obviously, there is still a lot of fat on there, but and there's a little bit of the skin on there, too. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously, we want to crisp it up and cook in the oven so it comes out nice. And the noodles are what kind? Um, so the noodles are uh, rice or vermicelli noodles. Mm -hmm. um, they are made from just strictly just rice that has been fermented for about like 16 hours and it just sort of breaks down in like water and then once that water is they just literally just put it into a dough and that's it and then they cut it and that's all there is to it there's really? no like eggs or anything it's just strictly made from rice rice and water so when someone orders this dish at the restaurant um do they assemble it do they can they assemble, uh, you know, like, well, how, how at, at the restaurant, we'll, uh -huh. do the, the, we'll do that sort of for you, you know. We obviously here, we want to give you guys the experience, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. at the restaurant, we'll do that for everyone else. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's say that these are all done here, and they would be a little bit crispier there, and you've got your demonstration bowl over there, and yes. you can see the nice little um, marks on the, uh, the pork So for, for you over there, but actually, you got to put the, the oyster marinade, oh, the, I, the, I, marin I, the grill I'm marinade that we have on it. Jump ahead of myself, yeah. sorry. <laughs> and what does this consist of? So that is actually kind of what the main sort of flavoring that goes on for the, the belly itself. Mm -hmm. um, it has oyster sauce, it has lemongrass, uh, garlic. Those are sort of like some of the main things um, that we put into the into the sauce for our grilled marinade. Um, but those are very common in a lot of different types of food. They'll use Ooh. a lot of different things. Yes, you can now get the aroma because that was smelling really good and now it's smelling extra good here. So, mm -hmm. okay. okay. And where, where are y'all located? Uh, so we're actually located on uh, Broadway, sort of in the, the, the shopping district. I can't, can't remember the name. Right, literally right across from uh, 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 Central Market, you know, right next to Incarnate Word. And you moved, right? Yeah, we actually moved our location from downtown, so we're no longer downtown anymore. Just that the Broadway location. Mm -hmm. If you know where Sattel's is right there, yes. uh, like you said, almost kitty corner from Central Market, it is. It is right there. So okay, so we've got that going right now, and then. What is next on, in the bowl? Um, so next, you probably want to make your salad. So the, for the salad, it's a very traditional. Like um, they use sort of just like you know mix. Uh, they got the Thai basil, uh, and then we have the mint, uh, cilantro. Obviously, cilantro we more refer to as cilantro, but over there it's more referred to as like coriander because it's mm -hmm. obviously the other name. Okay. Um, and then we just have some pickled carrots. Uh, generally when they do the carrots, they'll just kind of pickle them right then and there. They'll get fresh okay. carrots and then just put rice vinegar and just a little bit of salt and sugar and then that's it. Very right, you're finishing yep. I have I'm to grab a couple of forks for us back oh, he'll here be back. quickly. Okay. And so this is one of the specials that start tomorrow, right? Yes. If you visit the restaurant, okay. And then um, yeah, just What's put next? some carrots. Okay, some carrots. Mm -hmm. Didn't even board. miss me, did you? Because nope. we had a close up on that. Yep. Mm -hmm. there, so. mm -hmm. okay. It's like you were always there. Okay. I know. So and then and you put the, the mint. A little bit of mint. A little bit of mint. Okay. And we can't forget this. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Uh, it's actually, so my favorite thing on the menu is probably our Caps curry that we have. It's our penne curry with our, our uh, uh, grilled chicken and, and the egg rice. Egg and Ooh. then. And then yeah, just put the egg rolls like that. A little bit of that sauce. And a little bit of this. Open yep. square. That is the. Right here. Um, yeah, you can just pour it all over it. Oh, Honestly, over it. yeah, go go crazy go to, with that. Go to town, yeah, go to town with that. You got it. Um, so that that sauce right there is uh, what they like to sort of eat with the with the pork. Uh, it's called nuke cham. Mm -hmm. um, basically, the nuke means water, and then the cham means dipping. So mm -hmm. just true, hard, a very rough translation just means dipping water. Dipping water. <laughs> <laughs> and I may have missed it, but what's in the egg roll? Uh, they're just uh, pork egg rolls. Uh, just pork. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, wow. this is. 
Since so for, so to get the full experience, I would say uh, try to eat the the belly with sort of the herbs and the salad because it's kind of like one sort of one whole bite. They like to always eat everything sort of together. Okay. Um, sometimes they'll even get like lettuce and then just put everything into a lettuce wrap, like the noodles, all that, and just eat it like that. Okay. All right. Well, remember, of course, <clears throat> the special starts tomorrow. They're at Pinch Boyle House. And for more information, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the Ask Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. You may have seen this. Okay. Some sad news for folks who are a fan of the Choco Taco. Klondike has discontinued it. So that got us thinking about other foods that have been discontinued before, like the Taco Bell Taco Pizza, which, you know, they ended up bringing back. So, you know, our question of the day. What? Would you like to see returned something that may have been discontinued? This was a test product years and years ago at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You know, they got the apple pies. Uh -huh. They had something called the grapefruit pie. Bruce, do you remember that? Not at all. I don't know if it mm. was just up in Michigan or not, but it had um, cherries, apples, I want to say blueberries, and grapes in it. Uh -huh. And of course, it was a thousand degrees like the apple pie usually is. On the so. Dr. Pepper shake? That was the voice in my head. They took, away, they took away the Dr. Pepper shake at Whataburger. Oh, really? Apparently. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> so, so let us know at SA Live KSAT, what food do you wish, you know, comes back, yes. brings back, wherever, wherever you like to eat. Okay. <laughs> well, summer is definitely not over yet. <laughs> Just step outside. However, you still have time for another summer road trip, and why not make this a wild adventure? Yes, our Jen Tobias Dreske went out to the Johnson City Exotic Resort Zoo to see the wildlife and the cabins they offer there. Today on SA Live, we take you to an exotic resort zoo where you can stay the night, have some fun swimming, and get up close with over 500 different animals. And we are here now with Matrix and Donovan. Uh, tell me about Matrix, first of all, Donovan. Thanks for having us. Uh, Matrix, a three-year-old giraffe. Um, he's a recent addition. Um, yeah, he's just, he's a handful, man. He's spoiled, spoiled rotten, <laughs> loves to eat lettuce. Um, how old did you say he is? Three years old. Two and a half, three years oh, old. Oh, yep. so cute. Matrix is one of hundreds of animals here at the Johnson City Exotic Resort Zoo. 45 uh, different species of animals, yeah. What can people experience if they want to come out here just for a fun family outing? You're about an hour and a half north of San Antonio. The hand feeding is, the, is what separates us. Um, the animals do come up to the car or the trailer. The guided tour is the better option. Um, our tour guides will tell you about the animals, um, explain everything to you, and uh, yeah, it's just a different experience. Thanks, Major, for letting us feed you. Yes, so I came with my kids, and they loved how the camels get. Camel I mean, I feel like head you, in your car or the trailer. Right. Kissing camel, he will take the feet from your from your mouth. But yes, <laughs> my daughter did try that. She did. What is your favorite part out here? Oh, just you know something new every day. Um, we get to see these beautiful animals doing something different. Or oh, just the customers, so you know, building something. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd really enjoy my job. That's awesome. So you also have eight different cabins. We've got eight different cabins. Um, four of them sleep four people. Two of them uh, sleep six, and two of them sleep eight. Um, they're 200, 250, and 325 uh, per cabin. If you do choose to stay in one of the cabins, you get a free tour with your stay. There's two pools on the property, plus a playscape area for the kiddos, outdoor grills, an area for campfires, and some of the cabins have kitchenettes. So what is the story though behind the resort zoo? So my parents opened the place in 95. They bought the property in 93. Um, we originated in Louisiana. That's where we grew up. I thought so, I heard an accent. <laughs> right, right, it's, hard, it's kind of hard to hide. So they bought this property as just a, a ranch to get away from, just to come hang out. And we were in the emu business in Louisiana and it kind of started to down market. So my dad was seeing all these exotics at the, at, at the sales. And so he said, I have this property. Why don't I put them on there and start breeding and selling? Move forward 27 years, it's quite a unique experience for all to come and enjoy. 27 years, uh, what's some of the feedback you get from people that come and stay here for the first time? <laughs> you know, it's the, it's the interaction with the animals. Mm -hmm. um, our animals come up to the trailer mm -hmm. and you're not having to look off and say, what is that? I don't know what it is. My girls are telling you about the animals. Mm -hmm. We still have the option for the drive through just because comfort. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, it's 100 degrees. Yes. Trust me, I'd rather sit in the AC and enjoy <laughs> the animals. So you, you get best of both worlds. You can yes. do either option that you want. And we also have the petting zoo and you can also feed Matrix. Yes. And we got a taper. So we have other things that you can you know, feed and pet. Again, there 
There are eight different safari cabins here at the Johnson City Exotic Resort Zoo. You can rent those online. Just look to see what's available. They have two pools to cool off, plenty of shade. And for more information, you can head over to salive.com. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. Okay, what a cool place. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, we usually call her Java Gem, but it's now Jungle Gen. Totally. Hey, here's a travel <laughs> tip. If you're looking for coffee or refreshing ice drink, Johnson City Coffee Company is one of our most recent stops. And if you missed that story last week, they offer a fun selection of coffee drinks, wraps, pastries, and drinks for the kids. Oh, goodness gracious, that looks good. Drinks for the kids, too. All right, for more information on Exotic Resort Zoo, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan the QR code on your Screen. Jen always finds so many mm -hmm. really cool, great things to do up there in the hill country. All right, when SA Live continues, it is a thirsty Tuesday during tropical nights. We check out drink deals from Costa Pacifica. Cheers. Yes, plus we chat with local award-winning musical theater actor. And did I mention he's just a high school student? He's going to be a senior this year. Come on up. Yeah. Joining us, there you see him right there getting his award, the superstar himself, Nicholas Barone. Good to Hi, see you, sir. It's good to see you guys. All right, when they called your name and you won, what was that feeling like? It was uh, unreal. It was crazy. I feel like I'm still processing it now because, you know, it's only been like three weeks. Um, but it was, yeah, it was it was really amazing. Best musical theater actor high school in the country. Yes. From San Antonio. I know. <laughs> what did it take to get there? Well, I've, I've worked for a long time here in San Antonio doing different theaters. I've worked at the, the public theater, I've worked at the Woodlawn Theater, and just kind of all around the city. And then uh, I was able to do the regional program here, the Las Casas Foundation's Jossie Awards, and uh, I moved on to New York. And after a week of working in New York at the Juilliard Space and in, uh, at the Minskoff Theater on Broadway, we were able to uh, kind of debut our little show, and it was it was amazing. How many folks were you up against? Uh, well, I believe up against, like, in the whole country, it was about 140,000. And then, wow. yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, which is an insane number. And then at the Jimmy Awards, uh, kind of, you know, a couple award shows later, it was uh, 92. 92 wow. ridiculously talented teenagers wow. from around the, the no country. No pressure, right? Right. I mean, yeah, <laughs> crazy. Wow, amazing. So you're going to be a senior in high school this year. Where do you go after that? The Bright Lights of Broadway once again? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to work um, around the country, hopefully back in New York, and, and hopefully go to school in New York, too. And you've and been performing since you were nine. Is that yes, right? yes. First thing I ever did was Fiddle on the Roof at the, the Playhouse. It's now the public, but yeah. Do you have a favorite musical that you'd love to do? you do it over and over again if you could? Oh, gosh. Um, I loved doing uh, The Secret Garden. I did that over at the public a couple years ago, and that was that was really an amazing experience. Okay, well, he was saying he probably knows, I don't know, a few thousand songs you could name <laughs> and all that stuff, but let's test his knowledge yes. Oof, on okay. musical theater. Yes. We're going to play a little trivia game here. Okay, so ready. We have our, I'm ready. our yeah. producer okay. bringing in our table here with our buzzers <laughs> ready. I'm all going right. up again. Against oh, the master right. himself. Our winning actor, okay. we decided to test your musical theater knowledge against Mike, and yes, he knows a lot of useless things that make it more Always difficult okay. than you think. All right, first question. <laughs> our, which, our director's laughing, thank you. Which right. of the following Broadway musicals features music by Andrew Lloyd Webber and lyrics by Charles Hart? And now we have them on the screen there, The Phantom of the Opera. Oh, okay, oh. go ahead. <laughs> well, I was going to say Les Mis, but it's actually... It's Phantom of the Opera. Oh. Because you said it's still running, right? Right. Okay. Yes. All right. Our second question. <laughs> what musical features the song If I Were a Witch Man? Uh, Fiddle on the Roof. Yeah. It's my da, first da, show da, ever. Da, 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 da. <laughs> what is the longest running that was great. musical Thank you. Thank you. In, <laughs> in Broadway history? Phantom of the Opera. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you're great. I'm listening to them. Yes, and what was Disney's first Broadway musical? I'm going to say Beauty and the Beast. Oh, good okay. job. All right, now we have one more final chance here for a challenge, and you have to finish the rest of the lyrics. I'll do the first one, okay? We're going to let you finish the lyrics, okay. and then Mike's going to do the next two. I'm not going to sing, but we'll start <laughs> off with, this is an easy one. Okay, the sun will come out tomorrow. tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Tomorrow. 
Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> When I was and in you high said school. you couldn't sing, Mike. When, when Come Andy on. came out, every mall you'd go into, some little girl was singing that song. So, did you say rap or more? One singing more. One, one more, Mike. One go more. Ahead. Okay, go. Um, and then let's see. What, which, which one are we doing now? So, okay. Yeah, daylight and sunset. Uh, how about do a quick little one from Music Man? Just because that's where I first met Nikki. Years okay, ago. let's see. Seven years ago, Music Man. So, Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana, not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome, but Gary, Indiana. Yeah. Best high hey, school musical hey, actor in the country, hey. ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas yes. Barone. More information at SLive.com. You can click the uh, CEO on SLive tab or scan the QR code. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you guys so much. And as I kind of mentioned, I don't know if you could hear me, I first met Nikki seven years ago. Uh -huh. He was in the play, The Music Man, my son was in it as well, and um, he played Winthrop. They alternated the role, and even back then, we were like, Wow. He's going to be good. He's, He's yeah, talented. I mean, he, could, yes. he could sing like nobody's business even back then. But he was just a little guy. This is the first time I've seen him. He was that Since big. Since so. he was yay big. Since he was, you know, knee high to a grasshopper, as my mom would say. But anyway, congratulations, Nikki. All right, stick around because we have got some drink specials to cool you off during these hot summer nights. And ditch the glasses and contacts ahead of the school year before summer vacation ends with a simple eye procedure. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the school year will be here sooner than you think. I can't believe it, this summer is going so fast, okay? And you don't wanna miss out on seeing your kid in all those sports games and performances, and that's where Manrique Custom Vision comes in. They have the latest FDA-approved technology on the market to help you see clearly without glasses or contacts. And here to tell us about their big savings today is Director of Operations, Richard Doinoff. Welcome, welcome. Hey, how are you? All right, so for folks who don't know, what is the difference between LASIK and Z-LASIK? Uh, Z-LASIK, in Dr. Manrique's opinion, is the least invasive. It's uh, totally blade and pain free. Mm -hmm. uh, just takes a few seconds per eye. And the main thing is it's custom designed for each eye, so it just takes your prescription completely away. So no need for glasses, contacts anymore, which is incredibly convenient and like just a complete lifestyle changer, okay? So you mentioned the procedure takes just a few seconds each eye. For those who are kind of worried, does it hurt? Is it really painless? Yeah, it's painless. I had Doc did mine. I, I turned pretty old the other day, but he did mine like 20 some years ago with the blade, mm -hmm. and it didn't it didn't hurt whatsoever. This new technology that he uses, I've never had any complaints about anything whatsoever. And recovery time? I mean, you know, so when it's over, what? Walk us through that. Uh, most people wake, w get up off of the laser, and they actually can see us taking our picture like 30 foot away. And you look on our Facebook page, Doc will hold his watch out and they're looking across and they, they honestly can't believe it. You take a nap for four to five hours, you wake up and it's like a night and day change. And Dr. Manrique has done tens of thousands of these procedures, right? Right, right over 65,000 laser vision corrections right now. Wow, and yep. counting, and yep. counting. And you have big savings for folks watching right now, right? We love helping all your viewers. We, mm -hmm. we get, like I was plugging those girls the other day, but we get $1,500 off to people that will give us a call. You can text LASIK to 45384, and we'd be more than glad to help you get out of those glass and contacts. And so tell us a little bit more about the reaction from folks after getting this done. It Normally, I mean, seriously, like 80% of the time, people always just come up to me and say, I, I don't know why I waited. I mean, so they're ecstatic. The people with the super big prescriptions, the ones you see the coat, Coke bottles on, most of them are crying because they couldn't see past here, okay. and now they're already seeing like that gentleman over there on his phone immediately. I mean, it's, it is, it's amazing. I remember it like yesterday. And so folks wondering about financing? Absolutely, mm -hmm. we have up to 36 months interest free. Uh, there's still time for teachers and everybody to get in and use their medical spending account and flexible spending accounts. Uh, we usually have financing to fit every budget. All right, okay, and so the first 10 people to call will get up to $1,500 off their bilateral Z LASIK procedure. All you have to do is call 210-354-2020. That's 210-354-2020 or just text LASIK to 45384 for an instant discount. You can also just scan that QR code on your screen. For more information on Manrique Custom Vision, all you gotta do, visit that website you see right there, sa.manriqueeye.com. Richard, thank you so much. Great seeing you again.
All right, just ahead, we enjoy tropical nights on summer days. We tell you where to find some yummy deals this week. That's next. And speaking of back to school, don't miss the KSAT Pigskin Classic brought to you by San Antonio area Chevy dealers. We're kicking off the season with three high school football games on August 27th from the Alamo Dome. Tickets are available at Las Palapas locations. And you know what? Mike and I are going to be there bringing you all three halftime shows. Join us at the Dome, online, or on KSAT 12. We'll be right back after this quick timeout. Mexican seafood and tropical mm. drinks. It's always a good time at Costa Pacifica. Yes, indeed. Oh, we've got food, we've got drinks, and we've got Denise Cabello, <laughs> spokesperson for Costa Pacifica, here to tell us about their tropical nights. Thank Welcome. Thank you all for having me. I brought you plenty of things to keep you happy today. Okay. Yes, thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> we'll get to the food in a second, but first of all, we need a little something to wet the whistle. So yeah. what's going on? I, first of all, I love the uh, tequila bottle, so <laughs> that we can talk about it. Right I knew now, you'd so. like it. So we have to start with some drinks, right? Okay. You can get a delicious jalapeno margarita. So it's going to have a little kick to it. You can see our big glass there. It's going to keep you full. We rim it with salt. Mike's already going. He doesn't even, he doesn't <laughs> care. He's got a heavy hand with that tequila. He knows that goes in there. That's, the why, was, that's why I've never hired as a bartender. <laughs> You'd run out of uh, liquor real quick there. But you're going to go in with the tequila, the lime juice. He put it in some triple sec there. Shake it up, Mike. Get those arms going. Work out, work out. Show off. Work and then we're cocktail. <laughs> then we're, yeah, exactly. We're going to put pour that in these uh, okay. huge oh, margarita wow. glasses that we have that are going to keep you happy all night long. Yeah. And then my favorite part about the jalapeno margarita, of course, is we're going to throw on top some jalapenos. Mm. It's going to keep it spicy, give it a little kick. Uh -huh. Yeah. How's Did you that? say this is one of the favorites from so, customers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kick, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Delicious. You need more jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited that he likes oh, wait, the cake as well. Right. <laughs> okay, so let's make a martini too. Okay. We can do a martini Mexican style. This is going to be our spicy Mexican yes. martini. Jen already knows. She's rimming mm. the, the rim with tahin. So we can do tahin or salt for you at Costa Pacifica. We can even do half and half if you want a little bit of both. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you be... tried a tahin rim? God, no, I haven't, but two drinks in one yeah, with exactly. the salt and the tahin. Exactly. Salt, so. exactly. Oh. Okay, so let's get going with our <laughs> Martini, Jen. We're going to need, of course, tequila. some tequila. A little bit. <laughs> of course, some tequila. Wow. We'll do some lime juice in there as well. Uh huh. And we're going to do the triple sec in there oh, as the well. Juice. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Yes, and then yeah. some simple syrup. This stuff is made house made. Our triple sec simple syrup is house made at Costa Pacifica. So a little to, mm -hmm. to kind of take the edge off the yeah, martini. Yeah, exactly. Slightly. Exactly. Okay. And we're going to do an olive brine in our martinis as well. There she goes. Watch her show off. <laughs> get it, Jen. Get it. <laughs> Shaking it up, working out those arms. Okay. It's a workout as well for you guys this Ooh, morning, nice too. Oh, yes. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to drop that oh. one in our little martini glass there as well. And then we top our martinis off with jalapenos as well. Oh, here we and go. so if you More like jalapenos. that spice, it's right there in your drink. Mm. Okay, so oh, nice and light and refreshing to help beat the heat out here. And so is mm -hmm. some of these dishes that you have here. Which what is this one? Uh, I'll delicious. tell you all about it. That's our it's a tuna tower. So that one's called our Torre Lida. And it's mm. tuna on top, super fresh, super delicious. And you've got a lot of avocado at the bottom, topped with some mushrooms and different things as well. The sauce is out, mm -hmm. homemade and delicious. It's so light and refreshing though, it, right? It, that's the thing, yes. Yeah. I mean, perfect. Even you could sit out on the patio when it's 100 degrees, you know, not in, in the shade there, yeah. and have a nice cool mm -hmm. cocktail and this nice refreshing drink mm -hmm. there. And our patio is covered, so you're safe regardless of the weather. Okay. And, and Our octopus there? ceviche. This is for a limited time, so you have to come out to Costa Pacifica, get your hands on it, get, your, get it in your tummy. It is delicious. Also, super fresh, light, refreshing for the summer. Pair that with a drink, I think you're set, right? Wow, and you have uh, karaoke on Thursdays, live music. Yes. It's a fun time, right? Tropical Thursday mm. night. So we've got late hours now, Thursday through Saturday, so you can stay all night. Uh, and then we also have karaoke, like Jen said. We've got live music on the weekends. Our happy hours almost every day of the week are on point. You can even, you saw that, that's a tequila flight. You can taste oh, wow. at 
wow. many tequilas as you want. So you can find out, are you like, do you like reposado? Do you like blanco? Mm. It's a good time at Costa Vesica. It's like the time. pun that you'll be flying after you have a tequila flight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So just have a, your Uber lift ready. <laughs> it, it, yes, indeed. And, and where are you located? We're located off of 1604. You'll see that huge Costa Pacifica sign with the blue and orange colors. It's really beautiful out there. All right, for more information on Costa Pacifica, just head over to salive.com. Click the S, you know, as you live tab, or you can scan that QR code right on your screen. Denise, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Salud. Hey, mark your calendars, grab your hula skirt. Yep, it is time to party Hawaiian style at Morgan's Wonderland. Get ready for a tropical paradise around that picturesque lake right out there. And get the beautiful smile of your dreams. Our next guest is making braces easy and affordable for everyone. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, as we get ready to start the new school year, you may be thinking of braces, but with prices of everything soaring, you know, you might think, ah, that's just too expensive for now. Well, Dr. David Ferguson with Celebrate Dental is here to tell you that that's not the case. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Fiona, how are you? All right, so affordable braces, but tell us a little bit about Celebrate Dental. Yeah, you know, it really comes down to that affordability. When mm -hmm. I was a kid, uh, I was about to go to middle school and I was pretty insecure, maybe like some other kids about to go into middle school. I have a couple at home myself. And, you know, that insecurity made prompted me to ask my mom, beg my mom, really, hey, can you take me to the orthodontist? You know, kids are teasing me because of my crooked teeth. And, uh, you know, the truth is, is that was expensive back then. My yes. father was a teacher and we didn't have a lot of extra money. And that was a really big sacrifice. And so when I became an orthodontist, you know, when we started Celebrate Dental Embraces, one of our biggest missions was to make sure that we could make treatment affordable. And that includes all general dentistry and also braces. And, you know, over the past 10 years here in San Antonio, you know, we live here, we raise our kids here. You know, that's what we've been able to do is, is make dentistry affordable and make sure that every kid can get braces and adult uh, can get braces if they want a straight smile. And that is so true because I even think back to my childhood and my younger brother was the one with really crooked teeth and I was, I was okay. So my parents picked one. Because of because it was expensive, and my my brother got the braces. <laughs> yeah, there, <laughs> you know? there's always so a lucky it, yeah, one. It right? happens. So let's talk about how you're making it affordable for families. You know, the big thing is is oftentimes I think everybody really wants a straight smile. It really comes down to most of the time cost, mm -hmm. and sometimes at most offices you're going to pay a 25 percent down, or you're going to pay a large down payment. One of the things that we did right off the bat was we made sure that there was no large down payment. Uh, we break those payments up into very affordable monthly payments and it's paid out over the course of treatment. So it really makes it affordable for everyone. So that helps set Celebrate Dental apart, right? Yeah, it really does. I mean, there's some other things that, that we like to think that uh, you know set us apart. One of them is that it's not just braces. We do all dental services under one roof. So if it's wisdom teeth, if it's crowns, if it's uh, implants, cleanings, you know, anything, dentures, uh, and obviously as the orthodontist, I'm biased, but also the braces. Yeah, it's all under one roof. So financing, as you mentioned, right? Absolutely, we have both in-house financing. Uh, a lot of times people will ask us, hey, do you accept my insurance? There's a really easy answer, and the answer is yes. Uh, we take all PPO insurances. So if you're wondering, uh, the answer is yes. And six locations around town and convenient hours, right? Yeah, you know, along with affordability, part of that affordability is is parents don't want to miss work. You know, that's extra cost, added cost, and they don't want to miss uh, school. And that's also, you know, extra cost on the kids. And so, you know, really, we are open in the evenings. Uh, the general dental side is open on Saturdays. Uh, so we really try to make it affordable. And like you see on the map there, you know, we're six offices around town spread so that everybody in San Antonio can come. That's our hope. And language isn't a barrier too, right? Oh, of course not. Mm -hmm. we, we live in San Antonio, so <laughs> you know, if you, if you speak Spanish, uh, we, we love to have you. All so. right, and let's get the specials up on the screen. Call now and schedule your appointment to get braces for just $120 a month with Celebrate Dental and Braces. No credit checks, no down payment, six locations around town, and that number is 210-819 4553. That's 210 819 4553. 
Again, six locations around town. You can definitely find one near you. CelebrateDental.com is the website for more information. Thank you so much, Dr. Ferguson. Good seeing you again, Fiona. All right, well, it's time for the adults to party Hawaiian style at Morgan's Wonderland. Don't worry, they've got someone to watch the kids while you party. That's next. Tuesday. Hey, everybody. It is time to party Hawaiian style. Grab your hula skirt because Morgan's Wonderland is getting ready for their big old luau by the lake. And joining me right now is Jessica Lazardo, who is the CEO here. Good afternoon. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Super uh, excited about this event. A luau. Yes, I know. Here at Morgan's Wonderland. We're yeah. so excited. Okay. Do you have something for me? Uh, I do. Oh. I would like to start this off by laying you. Perfect. To get ready for this event that okay. is happening happening on August 20th All right. from 6 to 9. Okay. So we got and, and just, I mean, this is going to be better than being in Hawaii, right? Oh, it's going to take Hawaii and bring it to Morgan's Wonderland with something similar to an ocean. We do got the lake behind us, so you can get that ocean, that Hawaiian feel. Yeah, the lake, Pacific Ocean, same thing. So, okay, it's for adults only. What do folks need to know before they get here? So before you get here, you need to purchase your tickets online. And you can do that by going to morganswonderland.com. We have a luau by the lake page. Click there, click on the tickets. It's $100 for individuals, $150 for couples. So this is a date night. This is right before school starts. So get that last hoorah in um, before you actually, you know, go to school. Cause okay. send the kids off. Big date night. What kind of entertainment can we expect? We got lay making. Um, yeah. We've got puka shells that you can make whenever you arrive. We got the pig parade. So a roasted pig that's going to be walked around the oh, amphitheater. Wonderful. We got buffet style dinner. And again, date night. So come on in, enjoy. We got hula dancers. We got flame throwing. And ukulele? Oh yeah, ukulele. Yes. All right, Number I'm one. Learn. Let's go. Okay. And Renee Park is here. So how do I play the ukulele here? Very carefully. Very carefully. So yes. no smoke on the water. Okay. No, 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 no. That's right. right. You got it. You got it. You got it. We got it. the lake. Hey, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. You're out by the lake. What, we're going to be playing the ukulele. Okay. But, uh, so that's the strum. You got that. There you go. And you got the little ha -ah there. And you got the, the little ha -ah ha -ah going. Okay. All you right. know what that means, right? No. Bend and sway. Bend and sway. Okay. <laughs> Bend and sway. All right. And this is all the fun that's going to be going on yes. here, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Now, even though it's for adults only, if you got to do something with little ones, you got that covered, right? We do have that covered, yes. We do have a babysitting area for the little ones. It is a $40 charge for us to babysit your kids, but they're going to have the wine experience as well, along with all of this stuff. But parents are on their own, kids off in a secluded area, so we got okay. you covered. How am I doing? Uh, yeah, you got the hot and the cow going. I don't know about those <laughs> Don't give up my day job, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounds like so much fun. All right, this is going to be the perfect date night as you get ready to send the kids back to school. So the Luau by the Lake at Morgan's Wonderland is happening August 20th, 6 to 10 p.m. right here at Morgan's Wonderland. And for more information, call 210-495-5888. And to buy tickets, visit morganswonderland.com. Calm. Right here. There this you go. And right then there. And that? Yep. Down, 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 up, row, up, down. Row, row your boat, get down <laughs> <the street>. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good in the ukulele, huh, Fiona? Come on, I say live. She's speechless. They are rarely seen in the wild or even in zoos, but we'll have clouded leopard cubs in the studio. How you can meet these pint-sized big cats. Plus, they're on a roll. How this local sweet shop is growing and why they aren't your average cinnamon rolls. It's all tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. We asked you, what do you want to bring back as far as a food item? Uh, and really so, because the hungry. Choco Taco was discontinued, all right? So, what do you wish comes back? Esteban says, I wish Whataburger would bring back the what a catch fish dinner and not make it a seasonal thing. Doodads. Yes, I remember doodads. Uh huh. Mm. Okay, Lisa Ann says, Vianetta. Uh, not all stores carry it. I remember those too, those are good. Uh, banana fudge pop. Ooh, that's a blue bell. Stacy says chocolate dunkers from Pizza Hut. 
In the 80s, Totino's Pizza used to have the Mexican-style pizza. I don't remember that. Okay, Lynn says, hey, Mart. Jelly sandwiches. No, Kmart. We need Kmart yeah, first. <laughs> bring, yeah, bring back Kmart first. They used to sell chocolate cake roll with vanilla ice cream. So good. Ooh. Ooh. And Martha says, Kaboom's cereal. Do you remember that? I don't remember that. Pudding pop. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Pudding pop. Okay. So many things that we need. I know. Now I'm, I'm still hungry. I know. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.